Mill, makers of Bits Quick and Plus Quick, presents Bride and Groom. And the honor of your presence is requested at the wedding of Miss Mary Lou Massingham and Mr. Don Gilbert Ellis. Hello, and welcome to Bride and Groom. You know, the love story that begins when a spectator falls in love with a star athlete is always popular. And today's love story begins in just this way. But it so happens that the star athlete was a pretty and petite young lady, and the spectator is a tall and handsome young man. We'll meet them in just a moment, hear their unusual love story, and then attend their wedding with services by Reverend Nils Jansen of the Westchester Methodist Church. You know, the subject of love can apply to many things. For example, all grooms love pie. All men love pie. And all men love women who pie them like this. This is pie country style, rich of crust, flaky, and delicate. And this pie that we're about to serve was made with the Betty Crocker pie crust mix. Yes, you make your pie country style with crust quick, absolutely. Pie crust mix by Betty Crocker. Her own recipe for country style pie crust has been put together to perfection so that you can make pie crust like this. See how flaky. Look at those delicate flakes of pastry ready to melt in the mouth of the happy man who gets it. And this is amazing. This pie crust was pie pan ready in four minutes. Do no cutting in, add only water, measured, no guessing. Stir it with a fork. Four minutes from the time you start, your pie dough is not only mixed, but rolled out. Four minutes to the pie pan. Now then, in this simple package is your next pie. You add the filling, of course, but here's your pie crust country style with the Betty Crocker pie crust mix. Betty Crocker herself promises you perfect pie crust every time. Perfect, just for following the directions that are on the package of pie crust mix. Be sensible, try it. Make your next pie country style with the Betty Crocker pie crust mix. <laughs> to meet our lovely bride. She's Miss Mary Lou Massingham. Her bridegroom is Mr. Don Gilbert Ellis. And I can't imagine a pretty petite bride like you, Mary Lou, being a star athlete. You ought to see your shoot baskets, oh, John. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Tell us some more about you, Mary Lou. Well, I'm 18 years old, and I'm from... My hometown is Walker, Iowa, which is located 25 miles north of Cedar Rapids. Mm -hmm. And at the present, I'm a typist at Collins Radio Company in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And you, Don? I'm also 18 years old, and I... Uh, live a distance of about 12 miles north of Cedar Rapids near Toddville, Iowa. Mm -hmm. And I'm employed with the Collins Radio Company also. I hear you drove the school bus, Don. Yes, I drove a distance of some 14,000 miles hauling 72 little youngsters back and forth each day. Pretty unusual uh, for a young fellow your age. And I also have got to add one more thing about Don. He won the Iowa Bar Association Award for Good Citizenship in May, which is an award given to the outstanding high school graduate in, in his co county. So that's pretty good, Don. Thank uh, you. Well, let's hear about the time when you were spectator and Mary Lou was the uh, basketball star. Uh, you well, this took place in January of 1951 at the girls' basketball sectional tournament. And Mary Lou's team was playing there, and I had my eye on her. She was so little and cute out there and very fast and cute little player. Yes. And I just couldn't help but just watch her constantly. Uh, and uh, she, uh, the following nights, the following four nights, why she sat across from me mm -hmm, at got the basketball games. Got to watch her. And I kept watching her, watching her possibly more than I was the game. Sure. And... Uh, so I kept following her around when she'd go out to buy refreshments or something. Well, I'd walk out to and trying to talk to her mm -hmm. and uh, ask her that night, if one night, if I could take her home. And she said that uh, she had come with her sister, and that's the way she was going home. Oh, home with her, too. What's the matter? Weren't you interested in Don Ray Lewis? Yes, but I didn't really know him too well, so I thought I should wait a while. Uh -huh. And so the next time I saw him was at a skating party, and he asked me for a date the following, a week from the following Saturday night because his team had a ball game that Saturday night. Yes. And so I accepted and we went to a movie and had a very enjoyable time. And that was your first date? Yes, and neither one has ever went with anyone since that time. That was your first date and since then. That was in January of 1951. Yes. Do you think maybe this was love at first sight? Well, I do. I don't know whether Mary Lou would admit it or not. Oh? <laughs> well, when did you both begin talking seriously and thinking seriously about being married? Well, a year ago on the 4th of July, that's after we'd gone together about six months, mm -hmm. Don asked to give me an engagement ring, but I thought I was a little young and wanted to wait until I had graduated from high school. Why was that? Why didn't you want to ring in high school? Well, I thought that some girls who are engaged in high school are, don't take it too seriously, and I would rather wait until after I graduated. You, you wanted yours to be different. Yeah. Very sensible, too. How long did you wait to give her the ring, Don? Well, last May, I went up uh, to her folks' 
home and talk to them while she was away at a, on a senior day trip and ask them what I, would be nice for me to give her on a graduation, mm -hmm. for a graduation present. And uh, they suggested a cedar chest. And I told them no, that I thought something in the line of jewelry, old, say an engagement ring or something. <laughs> you mean you weren't asking what to give her really, you just wanted to make sure that what you'd already decided to give her was mm -hmm. all right. They thought that it was nice of him to ask what to give him. They always think he does it just about right anyway, and they thought he was such a nice, polite gentleman. And I, I doubt if you'll disagree. I hear that you were a valedictorian of your graduating class. <laughs> we mustn't forget Mary Lou was the Lewitarian of hers. Well, let me ask you this. Are you going to make your children study hard or not? Yes, definitely. I did, and I think that they shall, too. No, I don't think they should. I never did. I'm going to get out of this. I'm not going to get in the middle of an argument like at this time. Anyway, I'm sure that they'll be very bright and wonderful youngsters just like you two are. I'd like to meet your attendants, if I may, please, Mary Lou and Don. And I want to see that lovely Skinner bridal satin gown that's so becoming with the Chantilly lace uh, covering. Mm -hmm. Well, my goodness, who are you? And I'm asking him. What's your name? What'd you say? Asking him? Are you yeah. sister yeah. of the yeah, bride? My... How, how old are you? Seven. Uh, are you married? No. Nope. Are you? Have you a boyfriend? No. Nope. You gonna get married? I don't know. Are you looking around for the fella? No. What happened to your teeth or your front teeth? I don't know. Just fell out, I guess. Well, I'm glad to know you. John, I'd like to have you meet my maid of honor, my sister, Janet. How do you do? And this is my father. Delighted to meet you, sir. John, I'd like to have you meet my father, our best man. Great pleasure, Glad sir. Glad to meet you, John. We have uh, these matched keepsake wedding rings, the exquisite diamond band, so dainty and beautiful, is for Mary Lou, of course, and the plain gold keepsake matching band for Don. And the name of your song, Mary Lou? I'm so excited, I can't remember. She can't remember. Well, I know what it is. It's We'll Be Forever One, and now as our bride and groom and their attendants leave for the ceremony, Phil Hanna sings their song. This day is hell. This day is blessed, two hearts are blending forever into one. This hour of promise, this hour of truth will know no ending, our life has just begun. state of matrimony with thou love him and comfort him honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all other keep thee only unto him so long as he both shall live I do who giveth this woman to be married to this man I do I don take thee Mary Lou I don take thee Mary Lou to be my wedded wife to be my wedded wife to have and to hold to have and to hold from this day forward from this day forward for better for better Worse, for worse, for richer, for richer, for poor, for poor, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, till death us do part, according to God's holy ordinance, according to God's holy ordinance, and thereto, and thereto, I plight thee my faith, I plight thee my faith, I, Mary Lou, take thee, Don, I, Mary Lou, take thee, Don, to be my wedded husband, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poorer. For poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto. And thereto. I plight thee my faith. I plight thee my faith. ring is an outward and visible symbol of an inward and spiritual bond which unites two loyal hearts in endless love. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. 
In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. For as much as Don and Mary Lou have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and there to have pledged their faith each to the other and have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving a ring, I pronounce that they are husband and wife together, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord graciously with his favor look upon you and so fill you with all spiritual benediction and love that you may so live together in this life that in the world to come you may have life everlasting. Amen. the moment that seals forever the promise made between Mary Lou and Don, a moment they'll hold close to their hearts always. You know, I'm sure that whatever cooking Mary, do, Mary Lou does for Don, it'll be fun for a long time to come, but the way I understand it from the women that I talk to, it isn't so much the cooking that gets them down, it's that everlasting racking your brain three times a day, thinking of interesting things to feed the family. Wouldn't it be a blessing to be able to rack somebody else's brain once in a while? Betty Crocker's, for instance? Well, you can, and this is how you do it. First, you reach for the Bisquick, then read those simple directions on the box. Right there, Betty Crocker gives you her own easy recipes for a whole wonderful dozen things to fix for the family. Just look, there's, there's waffles and pancakes and coffee cake for breakfast. What do you choose? There's dumpling and meat pies and biscuits for lunch, and don't they all look good? There's shortcake and cobbler and velvet crumb cake, a whole big list of mouth-watering desserts for dinner. Matter of fact, every idea on that Bisquick box will start you off on a new kind of a meal. No wonder they call Bisquick the 12 in 1 mix. You just try it and when you do, you'll maybe wonder why I didn't tell you how much time Bisquick saves you and how easy Bisquick baking is. Well, like for instance these biscuits. Just add milk to Bisquick for biscuits like these. There just isn't an easier way to give your home, uh, give your family ho hot homemade biscuits. And all those other things we looked at, the dumplings and the shortcake and the waffles and the other, they're simple and easy too when you reach for the Bisquick. Just remember, for feeding a family, you just can't beat this quick. And here come our bride and groom. Congratulations to you, Don. Thank you, Don. And it's wedding gift time now, All folks. So we have first for you a set of beautiful modern tableware called Color Flight by Branchell. It's guaranteed for a year against breaking or chipping, and Color Flight looks so gay on your table. And your silver will be the famous Queen Bess pattern, Mary Lou. Yes, 12 plate settings of beautiful Queen Bess. And here's a Hoover vacuum cleaner, the best possible household cleaning help. All those Hoover attachments makes it so easy to clean all the hard-to-reach spots. A really up-to-date home needs up-to-the-minute facilities, and yours will be just that with a brand-new Westinghouse dishwasher installed. You can wash, rinse, and dry surface for eight in one loading, and you can be sure if it's Westinghouse. A girl's best friend or a bride's best friend. Anyway, a magnificent tap and gas range. It has all those special tap and features, divided cooking top, window in the oven door, tell your set time and temperature guide, and many other exclusive wonderful features. Yes, and you can have meals for Don fit for a king with your Betty Crocker picture cookbook. And a generous supply wonderful. of General Mills fine products and a talking motion picture of your wedding day at bride and groom from General Mills. Now your honeymoon, though. Uh, behind the wheel of this brand-new 1952 Pontiac Catalina with dual-range hydromatic, you'll drive north through New York's Lake Country to your honeymoon destination, America's finest dude ranch, Hidden Valley near Lake Luzerne, New York. Manager Alan Mitchell Tree and the New York State Hotel Association have made special honeymoon reservations for you. You'll be surprised and delighted at Hidden Valley Ranch's many fine facilities, horseback riding, boating, tennis, and just about every outdoor sport. Indoor sports, too, square dancing, and all kinds of fun. You'll love every single moment in the delightful rustic atmosphere of this famous ranch, Hidden Valley at Lake Luzerne, New York. Good luck oh, to you both, Don, and thank you for sharing your happiness with us and your love story with you again in a moment. With me, just a moment, Don. I'll take it with me. Tomorrow we're going to meet two young people who knew tragedy and persecution under both Germans and Russians. Both escaped miraculously to this country to find freedom and to find each other. That's tomorrow at the same time on these same CBS stations on Bright and Groom.